It is obvious what this alert is about, the war in Ukraine. Those who are subscribed to our newsletter have read two weeks ago, just before all this started, that I speak in our latest newsletter about cognitive bias and dissonance. And this can be caused by an alteration of trauma and relief. As I alluded to, something traumatic would follow the ease and lifting of many of the measures. It is therefore no surprise that this war began right now. As Christians we are not surprised anyway. As Jesus told us, there would be wars and rumors of wars. And to this statement he adds immediately, See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So that tells us what to do. Be not troubled. And what to expect. Not yet the end. We must endure. Jesus adds to this statement about wars, these things must happen. One would ask why do they have to happen? Well, the reason is that they cause the geopolitical stage to be set up for events that will come after this, and that have been foretold as well. One of these events is the Gog-Magog War, as foretold in Ezekiel 38 and 39, where Russia, Iran, Turkey and others will invade Israel. See the video Ukraine and the Leviathan Prophecy for more information about that. That video I published, by the way, in 2014, when the trouble in Ukraine had just begun. But for your convenience I remade the video in a shorter version of higher quality. See the link in the description. Other prophesied events for the latter days in which we live are the destruction of Damascus in Isaiah 17 and of the nuclear facility in Elam in Iran in Jeremiah 49, which will cause another great flood of refugees, according to scripture. So do expect a shift to the Middle East with regards to war games. That does not mean that other parts of the world will stay out of the woods. This war does have the propensity to become a world war. Let's just hope and pray that it doesn't. It's bad enough as it is. Another event that is on the horizon is a global financial crash. That too is greatly propelled by this war. We actually see that financial sanctions are part of the weapons used by the West. However, that will not stop Russia. Actually, it will force Russia to become less reliant on Western financial markets and strengthen its ties with China. The West might be shooting in its own foot with this move. But as Klaus Schwab from the World Economic Forum already made clear, there is a small window of opportunity to forge a great reset. And while many thought that window was closing, this war has opened it wider than ever before. And here in Greece, and as I know in many other places, the wearing of masks is still mandatory, lest we forget the past two years. With a flip of a switch, all things will be reactivated. Don't think for one moment that the whole setup of the infrastructure of QR codes, tests, inoculations, lockdowns, digital ID, etc. has been in vain. It will be reactivated, and when the financial reset will force it all to be linked to a new global digital currency, the whole infrastructure of the new world order will be complete, and the rollout of the mark of the beast as described in Revelation 13 can commence at any given moment. We are moving to a situation where a largely traumatized global population will cry for peace, for solutions and for powerful global leadership. So far, the world events follow the exact scenario as foretold in the prophetic pages of the Bible. As Jesus said, And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, you might believe. <laughs> 